thank you for coming again. My name is Ingrid. Welcome to another one of my segments on becoming your best self, whatever that looks like and whatever you have to do to get there. Today I want to talk about courage under fire. How to develop courage under fire. Many of you might be thinking about a new career choice or a new endeavor or taking on something that you've never done before. Something that's so vastly different from your nature that is giving you some angst. You're like, oh my God, how am I gonna go there and do this? Do I have what it takes to do this? How many of us are risk averse? That's a, that's a term that is usually associated with financial investments or the financial industry. But how many of you literally are risk averse? <laughs> Just the thought of taking a risk, taking some, a step outside of your comfort zone scares you. It scares you to the point where you become debilitated. You may not be able to sleep at night. You may not be able to eat or drink. That doesn't really happen for a lot of us. But those of you who um, experience debilitation that way, it is a real thing. It is a real thing to be afraid. It is a real thing to not have the courage to do what is boiling up inside you. What is actually is, is keeping you awake at night. <laughs> the thought that you need to make a change is necessary but the idealistic approach to making that change is very far from the truth so how do you make a change how do you how do you approach courage on the fire what is courage on the fire well the fire of corona verona is real we call it corona verona the coronavirus has debilitated a lot of people it has taken you outside your comfort zone many people are probably experiencing discomfort right now they don't know what to do how they're going to do it, or how to pick up the pieces and carry on. And others are just thinking they don't have a choice. This is their livelihood. They don't have any other means. This is what needs to be done. And they're willing to take that risk. They're not as risk averse as much as they're based on necessity. They have to do what they have to do. But courage under fire involves four elements. Faith, it involves tenacity, it involves commitment, and it involves your vision. Staying true to your vision. What do you envision for yourself in these next few days or years? Or, you know, some people have a five-year plan. Some people have an immediate plan. What is your vision for yourself? Where do you see yourself going? Where do you want to be in that vision? When you see that vision, is it the end? Is it the end and be all for you? You've arrived at what you hope would be the accumulation of your life's journey? Or is it something that you see, but you don't really, you're not really sure as, that, as to whether you want to do that or not? Regardless, everybody should have a vision. A vision allows you to realize that there's something to work towards. Commitment. How many of you are committed? Are you committed to not being broke? <laughs> are you committed to working and doing whatever needs to be done? Where is your commitment? It is time to take out that measuring tape and look and measure your commitment level. Where's your commitment level? Are you at one or you're 10? And what is stopping you from making that commitment? Is it fair? Like for most of us, it is fair. And what is fair? Fair is something that debilitates because fear will stop you in your tracks and prevent you from making a commitment to something that is greater than the fear you're feeling. So you have to overcome that fear. But you must make a commitment. You must commit to the cause. You must commit to taking the first few steps. It is easy. You see how I just moved from there to there? It is easy. Just decide to get up and take the first step to whatever the vision is. The third thing is faith. We hear a lot about faith in a religious setting or a spiritual setting. But what's your level of faith? What's stopping you? From doing the thing that you know you need to do the thing that must be done let's measure your faith where's your faith faith is something that crosses boundaries it crosses all kind of occupations it crosses every single subject in the world faith is the underlying motive what motivates you and not just what motivates you do you have the determination necessary to drive that motivation where's your faith and what is your faith based on I like to denote faith as something greater than yourself. My faith is something that I would explain at another time in another place. But for me, faith is something 
greater than myself is a force outside of myself that helps to propel me to propel me into that uncharted territory that area that i'm about to go down even though i'm afraid to go down it is something inside of me that says you can do this just get up it is very hard i, I did a video on here about getting up in the morning for some of us it's very difficult to get it when life knocks you down and especially if life knocks you down repeatedly for those of you who have the ability to get up and to keep on going it's amazing it's amazing that you can keep on going in the face of adversity it's amazing that you want to keep on going even though you don't feel like you should be going so we talked about commitment we talked about faith we talked about vision let's talk about tenacity what's tenacity how are you going to use tenacity to get you up and out? How are you going to move towards your goal? Like I said, this is a good time to change, to change your career. It doesn't matter how, how much fear you have and, and, and it doesn't matter how committed you are to the process. If you don't have the, the all with or the force within you that will drive you towards it. It requires a certain tenacity. It's like a dog with a bone in his mouth. That dog knows that if he drops that bone, the likelihood of another dog getting it is very real. He's not going to drop that bone <laughs> unless he becomes afraid by the other dog, because of the other dog. But you need to develop a tenacity. And how's that de tenacity developed? It's developed because you hold on to your vision. Your vision is what's going to drive you. Your vision is what's going to empower you. Your vision is what's going to be the force that lifts you up from where you've stopped and say it's time to move. And the other thing is trusting yourself. One of the most difficult things, trust me, every day, every year, you make the same commitments, you have the same vision, you have some measure of faith, you may think you're tenacious enough, but imagine every year you're, you're back here, nothing has really moved, you're committed to the cause, but life has a way of knocking us down, doesn't it? Life has a way of sending people that will demotivate us, or make us lose sight of our vision. There's so many other variables that come our way to stop us from moving forward. But the truth of the matter is, you can do it. It's like the Nike ad, just do it. That's it. If, there, if all the motivational speakers got together and decided the one statement that meets every other requirement and forcing you as a human being to, to cooperate or to perform, is that you have to do it. Nothing can happen without active action. You have to get up. You have to get out of your bed first. You have to take a shower. You have to want to. Nobody's going to do it for you. One of the things that has always motivated me my whole life is that nobody else is going to do for me what I can do for myself. I mean, come on. I throw the best darn pity parties. Everybody knows this from here all the way across the Caribbean Sea. Nobody does a pity party like me and nobody does my life like I can. Take accountability for your actions. Take accountability for yourself. Stop looking for others to push you and motivate you. Stop looking for others to help you put the bar for your commitment. Stop looking for others to help you accomplish your vision. Visionaries never look to others. They may share their vision, but at the end, they're the ones responsible for making the vision come to reality. Courage under fire requires a lot. It means that you realize that regardless of how hard it gets, how difficult it is right now, that you have to be courageous. You have to be the one. Nobody else can do for you what you can do for yourself. I wish that I could literally go over there and give everybody the courage that I have on some days. <laughs> I don't, I'm not feeling courageous every day. That's the reality. I'm, I'm a realist. Every day I'm not going to feel courageous. But every day I'm going to work towards that courage, especially when it needs, something needs to get done. And I recognize that I'm the only person who can get out there and do it. Get up, wherever you are right now. Write down what your vision is. Write down your level of commitment to this cause, to your vision. Write down where your faith is coming from. Realize that you don't have to do it by yourself. There's a force greater than you that is ready. The universal law, one of the universal laws is setting your intention and allowing the power of that intention to manifest. There's something greater than you that wants to help you during this process. Let that faith come forth. Let your tenacity show up. Be tenacious like a dog with a bone. Hold on to that bone and don't let it go until you get to where you need to bury that bone. My name is Ingrid. Thank you for visiting. I hope you enjoy these segments as always. 
As always, visit my website, thejourneyoftruth.com for more videos, um, other seminars, my books, and to see, find out more information about who I am. Like the video below and encourage others to like it and keep on coming. And when you come, bring others with you. I appreciate you. Bye.